morning guys welcome back to a brand new video so today as i am filming this video it is thursday and today is a very busy busy day i'm also filming in the living room because well actually this is technically the dining room hello christmas print hello christmas tree that is wonky because we um have a burnt out section of lights on this one but it is raining it is pouring here in florida and this is the only quiet spot in the house because we have skylights in the house so when it rains everything is echoed so i was gonna talk to you guys in the bedroom and all that but you know we need a little bit of change of scenery anyway so this is perfect i have liam so i can see him he's playing in the living room my mom i think might be snoozing in the recliner she might be waking up because i'm talking um but this is the only quiet spot to film in the house because every other room has a skylight and it is just very loud and i figured you didn't want to hear that um so today is a very, very busy day, guys. I have to get Liam packed up and all organized and ready to go because tomorrow we have a big road trip. Tomorrow we are taking my mom up to the Carolinas. It's technically like south of the border, um, right in between the two states, North Carolina, South Carolina. And then we meet my aunt halfway um, and then my aunt will take her the rest of the way. So total, it's like nine hours 18 out like an 18 hour trip or so so it's gonna be a long day of travel so i need to prep today get my mom all packed get the suitcases loaded in the car but before i can do that i'm taking liam's over to mom and dad liam's i'm taking liam over to mom and dad's house so it's just a day of like laundry getting organized getting packed getting everything ready to go it's one of those kind of chaos days so um, but we have very cozy weather, which is why I brought this little cute piece out. Oh, I just whacked the window and it's a cropped piece, which, oh guys, I love, which actually brings me to today's sponsor, which is Halara. And I've worked with them recently. You guys were loving the pieces that I showed you. I posted pictures on Instagram. So I'm going to show you a couple or all the pieces that they sent over to me. So first of all, we have this beautiful corduroy jacket and it's soft that's what's so nice is like this isn't stiff at all like i can move everything and then they have this cropped cami that has these really beautiful thin straps and what i like about this one is how far it comes down we love that okay so here is the full outfit and then we have these amazing joggers i have them in black they just are super super flattering these are the pants that i told you guys are really nice and high-waisted love that um and then they're nice and cinched at the bottom this jacket is a winner i am going to list all the pieces that i have in this haul down below for you guys in case you want the same exact pieces i want to get this though in every single color that they have because for florida and just under cardigans like this with the high waisted is perfect you know it's like perfect for everyday lounge but cute also very athletic you know what i mean like that's what's super great about their pieces is they're affordable cozy athletic and stylish so you're hitting all the zones in one mark we love that so really quick, Halara has started their Black Friday sale, which started November 1st. So their Cloudful 3.0 leggings will be $24 for two pair, amazing. And then their denim leggings, which I told you guys are like leggings and jeans, 
meets comfort at its best. They are going on sale for $39 for two pairs of their legging denim jeans. So, and then you can use my code MINDY15 to get 15% off more full priced items. So let's try on the rest of the haul, but I wanted to let you guys know in case you wanna hop over to the site, check out any of the pieces I'm wearing or any of the pieces that they have. This is a high neck cream long sleeve let me come in close show you guys the detail so it does zip i guess that would be a quarter zip right guys and it's just adorable so let's pop this piece on let's see how it fits i am a size medium that's the other thing like all of their stuff is super simple with their sizing because it runs true to size how cute is the collar and it's ribbed it's that ribbed material very flattering very soft very comfortable oh we can roll it Oh, this is one of those pieces that you could actually roll and it doesn't look bad. Oh, I love, I love, okay. Okay, our next piece is, oh, guys, if there is one piece that I think that you guys should get for the winter season, it is probably this. It comes with a hood and then it is a green plaid they have this in a few colors i was so torn on which colors to get they have a neutral one i think with like creams and browns they had a pinky one. Oh, i almost got the pinkish one um but i did go with the green probably because of like christmas maybe that's why i chose it if you guys have ordered from holara let me know what are your staple pieces what do you gravitate towards we also have a christmasy dress in here or a new year's dress which i'm really excited about and also medium but like a bit oversized all right here we go on this piece obsessed with it love it love the back i love the way it fits like where it comes down on the butt kind of covers you a little bit the only thing guys the only thing because you know i'm a pocket girl um the pockets are like faux pockets so you can't actually stick your hand in the pocket at least not the left one let's try the right one yes no so those are pockets for look but i still love it i love it as a piece i love the way it fits it's very 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 flattering um, and I love the hood. I love that it's that normal kind of like hoodie texture. And I picked up corduroy pants. You see everybody wearing corduroy pants and a lot of them are really stiff and uncomfortable, but these look um, like stretchy. They feel stretchy. At least I hope they're stretchy when I pull them over my thighs and my butt. We will see, we will put that to the test, but we're gonna try these on with this. I think that that would be really cute. All right, corduroy pants, don't let me down. Don't let me down. What are they doing it? How does it actually look good? How does it actually look good? Do you know how many times I've like tried to try on cute pants like this and it does not look cute because your girl has thighs and I have a butt, okay? I'm not like, I have thighs and a butt and a lot of times pants are so tight in my thighs I can't get them up and then they're loose in my waist. Like these just fit. Look at this. Like it just fits. Like it fits the butt. It fits like it just fits. Now we are not distracted at all by the top. So this is, please do excuse my socks. Um, but this is the fit. Like, that is good. That is really nice. All right, next we're going to try on the waffle um, cropped zip up. I have this in a couple of colors. Love it. Again, very simple. You guys know the deal. Just a crop, but it's like a very casual, like perfect all the time crop. It hits and fits in all the right places. Let me lower you down a bit so you can see. Um, but yeah this is what the crop looks like i love that oh, these these have pockets by the way even that's a cute outfit right with some boots like you could really make this work as a cute outfit these pants are comfortable we got to give holara a moment because this is a moment the pants the pants that everybody rants and raves about from holara so they are wide like they have the wide leg and then the beautiful buttons so it looks like hey business casual except they are like the softest like i don't want to say sweatpant material but like kind of but like i i don't know it's hard to explain okay let's just try them on so nice like guys these are business pants they're business pants like you can really make this work and be comfortable at work yes <gasps> they have pockets <laughs> they have little pockets they're very high-waisted the buttons are super cute um and then they are a flare very nice here it is here's the full fit from afar love it jeans the black jeans okay the jeans but also like look at that stretch also like 
jeans, but hello leggings, basically. And then I saved the dress for last because you guys know I don't wear a lot of dresses. I have to be going to a fancy occasion or an occasion to get me in a dress. Like that's just a plain fact about me. You guys probably already know that. Like the last time I wore a dress was when I was in London and we went to Gordon Ramsay restaurant. <laughs> like I have not been in a dress since. Um, so let's try on these jeans and then I'll show you guys this beautiful holiday red velvet dress. Oh, these are a little bit more snug. These ones, girl, you gotta work. Oh, these are great. Oh, look at this extra, like, oh, they're up, they're on. These are nice. Look at that. Very flattering, very nice. Oh, it's beautiful. They have this in a beautiful, obviously would not wear this sports bra with it. Oh, it's so cute. It does fall really really cute okay ignore the sports bra right how beautiful is that like it twirls it's just so feminine and it's a beautiful comfortable velvet material it is so nice and the sleeves are cuffed which i also really appreciate and love hey guys this is a cute piece they have it i was torn between this because i really liked it because i was like right this is like a very pretty red maroon color that's perfect for christmas and just like New Year's and all that kind of stuff. Like you can, I don't know. That's why I went with this one. But I was really torn because they have a beautiful, stunning blue one. Um, I think they have black as well. That would be really cute, a black velvet dress moment. Um, but yeah, that is the haul. So again, if you guys would like to get 15% off, um, my code will be linked down below. All of these pieces, in case you want the exact ones, will be linked down below. I'm a medium and everything. Everything is true to size, love that. Now I need to hang up all these clothes, get them put away. And I wanted to pop on and wear, um, what do I want to wear? I kind of really like that corduroy jacket. Well, you got close to it. You got two triples. You got two triples? One triple, two doubles. One triple and two doubles. Good job. I am in the kitchen. I'm going to make a quick lunch. Larry's back from baseball. He won his game. Their team won first place for the, it's not over yet but they're ahead so many games that they've won. Is your last game next week, Tuesday? Mm -hmm. And then they're off for a little bit um, for the holidays and then they'll restart the winter ball season. But Larry's team won first place, so congratulations, babe. <laughs> okay, so I'm getting ready to make lunch and I'm just gonna throw something together that's gonna be for this afternoon and then for Mama, myself, Liam, and Larry for dinner tonight. I always do this when I make one of these meals. So I'm gonna make one of these. Very simple, easy. It's the chicken Alfredo and penne. And then I also have some leftover penne mixed with protein. It's like these protein noodles. I found them, so I'm gonna add some of that to there. And then I always add another bag of broccoli. And sometimes when you add more stuff, like obviously you run out of sauce, so I do have some Alfredo sauce and I'll just add bits to it. It kind of gives the meal longevity. Like if I didn't have that, I might add rice. Just, you know, add stuff to it. It makes the meal a lot larger. You'll have leftovers for longer. So if you guys make meals like that, just a little tip that I do. You probably already know that, but if you don't and you didn't think about it, that's what I do. And it's great because it saves some money too. So let's pop this all together, pop it in. That pan is so effing hot. I touched the, it's okay. I touched the handle, so hot. I probably just lost fingerprints. I'm pretty sure I no longer have fingerprints on my left hand. Why was the handle so hot? Nothing centered right. Oh my God, I have black lines from the handle. It's tingling. That is not a fun time. Aww, maybe it's not as bad, maybe I let go, but like I have these like black. You guys see that? You see that black line right there and the other black line right there? Yay! Okay, the pan's very hot. Pasta noodles. I have got to clean these kitchen counters off. This is a disaster. <laughs> All right, we got the extra pasta going in. And then it'll definitely need some extra sauce. Mostly cook through here. As you can see, when you add more to it, you lose a bit of that sauce, which is why we are going to add our Rayos roasted garlic Alfredo. I love the Rayos brand, very yummy. Woo! Yeah, that's 
good. Perfect. Here's our pasta, and then I just topped it with some cheddar cheese, a bit of pepper, and crushed red pepper flakes. And when you mix this all up, the cheese gets really gooey and delicious and melty. So I'm gonna eat my lunch. Lunch has been had, it was delicious. And now I'm just popping over to talk to you guys about my results. So I did go to the doctor yesterday, I believe, yes, it was yesterday. And I meant to film while I was there. And I actually, I did film while I was there. We're gonna talk about that for a minute, but I didn't get to like record in my car and talk to you guys like I usually do when I go. Um, but there was a sign at the IVF clinic that I have walked by like 25 plus times, probably the amount of times that I've been there or more. And I have never seen it until yesterday. So the sign says, believe in yourself, be amazing today. Anything is possible, never give up. And it just resonated so much with like everything that's been going on. And I was like, you know, I'm gonna stop and take a picture of that. It really hit me in that moment, which was really, I don't know, it was just nice. It was nice to see. And I don't know how I did not see that and why all of a sudden that day I, I saw it, but it was a great reminder. And again, like, I can't thank you guys enough. Um, for just being so sweet, so understanding and just sharing your struggles as well. And I know I thanked you in the last video, but I just feel like it's not enough. Like my thank you is just not enough. Like I feel like I wish I could give you guys hugs. Like you've been just so, so, so incredibly supportive and you truly probably don't have any like idea, like the magnitude of how important it is to me and like how thankful that I am for you guys because it has been really, really hard. And just to read your comments and um, over on Instagram and DMs as well and over here on YouTube has just blown me away and has given me so much like hope and has just really helped me a lot. Um, but in, in regards to my results, so I am officially at five or under five, they said. So um, I am where I am, need, I need to be. My body has reset itself. Um, and I am not pregnant. You know, there was this small hope and I read it in a comment too. Um, Larry's with Liam, but somebody said, you know, the clinic may be wrong and hold on to that hope a little bit longer. And yeah, no doubt that there was that hope inside me that was like, maybe they're wrong. I'll stop my medications and just maybe, you know, I won't get a period and I'll still be pregnant. And then, you know, I, I was not no longer. Um, so on another note, besides talking about IVF and fertility and like all of that stuff, um, the next thing is just I have an appointment with our IVF doctor just to kind of decide and like discuss options on if we're going to move forward, how we're going to move forward. Um, are we going to attempt another round? Are we not like what we plan to do? Larry and I are still talking about all that, but I do want to talk to you guys about a book that I am reading that I am hooked on to. So I started reading it ends with us. And I also started reading Prince Harry. I've stopped both of those. Like, I don't know, I wasn't in the mood, I guess. And this book has me completely in the mood. And this is called Fourth Wing. You guys might have heard of it already. I found out about it like scrolling online. I was like, what is a really good fantasy book? Like a book like Harry Potter or a book like Game of Thrones or like a book in that world. Like I love just escaping into fantasy worlds like I just find it incredible I find it magical it's just really nice sometimes to just dive into a book so I have started reading this the second book is out I am on chapter seven so I'm not very far in but I'm far enough in to know that if you love Game of Thrones the Hunger Games and the Divergent series it's kind of throwing me like those vibes uh, and I really, I'm, I'm really excited about this book. So I try to read a couple of chapters every night before bed. A dragon without its rider is a tragedy. A rider without their dragon is dead. Um, it is kind of brutal. I mean, I'm just on chapter seven. It's, it's definitely going to be brutal. So, but it's a really good read. So I wanted to share that with you guys as well. And I cannot believe it is the week before Thanksgiving as I'm filming this video. Like, oh my gosh. See, this is what always happens. What happened to the month of October, guys? What happened to that month? It flew by for me, probably because I have company here, like, you know, and then it just flew by. I just, I don't know where the time goes. And I say this every single year. I get so excited for October because I love the fall season. And then I get super excited for November because it's the cozy season too. And you have like Thanksgiving, if you celebrate Thanksgiving. And then like after Thanksgiving, it is the countdown to Christmas if you celebrate Christmas. It's just like boom, boom, boom. And then it's over. 
And then I'm one of those people, look at me. We're not even gonna get to January. We're not even gonna discuss that. Like I just need to slow down and like live in the present. So I'm working on that, slowing down, living in the moment. That's what my whole focus is of this holiday season, right guys? So starting now, I want to try and just focus on the day. Of course, like be a planner. I'm a planner. I'm a natural born planner. It's what I do. I like organization, plans, next steps. That's kind of me in a nutshell. But I also want to try and just be like a little free spirited. You know what I mean? Like a little calm. I need calmness in my life. So Anyways, where did we go on that tangent, guys? Why did I just run off with that? But I hope you understand that. Let me know if you're working on something. Like, if let me know if you're going through something in your life right now. Like, what are you working on? What are you working on to, um, you know, bring yourself a bit more happiness? Or maybe you're perfectly happy. Like, share your secret. Like, what are you doing in life? Is it, you know, working out that's bringing you happiness? Is it just going at a slower pace that's bringing you happiness? Or just, you know, doing everything that we all do in a day-to-day -day life, you know? You guys understand what I mean or am I totally off off I don't know anyways I'm gonna sip on some coffee cheers to the second cup of the day I love this cup oh I got some candles at Marshall's you guys know I am loving let me just go get them hold please I will I will return okay come on lightness see how dark it was when I was gone that's how dark it really is in this room all right Marshall's I told you guys in a video like a week or so ago or maybe two weeks ago by now I found this candle and I loved it and guys if you struggle with candles and like with scents like I used to love the Bath and Body Works candles but honestly they give me headaches I can't burn them anymore I have found a new candle brand it's not a new brand and it's at Marshall's they might be at TJ Maxx as well I think it's called Sand and Paws no <laughs> Sand and Paws no what am I even talking about it's Sand and Fog but they have like the pet ones they are soy candles. This one is blue eucalyptus and fur. I don't remember what the last one was that smelled like a Christmas tree, but it was similar to this one. And it's just really refreshing. And then I believe each lid is unique. Like somebody carves it or hand paints it, I think. Sand and Fog was born of a vision of three women who believed candles should not only smell good, but look good too. We are living proof that the California dream is alive and well. Hope we can bring light and happiness into your life. Christy, Elisa, and Jill. That's super sweet. Um, yeah, they're just refreshing candles. Somebody was asking me, like, what do they smell like? Are they good? And I was like, just basically take, like, your essential oil soy candle and, like, that's what it smells like. Because a lot of people are like, but does it even smell up a room? It smells up a room, but in a natural, fresh, scented way. That's the best way to describe this. So this one... Smells really good if you're interested in that scent. Guys, I feel like we're throwing it back to the old days when I used to do Bath and Body Works candle hauls. Uh, next, we have Vanilla Bean Noel. That's another classic that I used to get from Bath and Body Works. But again, this is just, it's so light and refreshing and nice. It's so good. It's not artificial. There we go. That's how I would describe it. Like this is not artificial smelling. It's very like natural. Um, and then our last candle, which I'm very excited to burn, is Simmering Spices. So good. And these are $7.99. Not bad. Not bad. $7.99. So I got those three candles. Very obsessed with this brand. Like, it is my new go-to brand. And then let me show you really quick why we're here. The other things that I picked up at Marshall's Why I was there. I literally ran in just for the candles, but then I had to check the little man section. You know what I mean? So for Liam for Christmas, and I always size up when I get clothes from like Marshall's and TJ Maxx. I don't when I go to Target, I get his size, which he's currently in 18 months. But if I get them from TJ Maxx and Marshall's, I size up because they do shrink down, I feel like, and they're just tighter. Uh, but I got him this, which comes with matching socks. It has a reindeer with a present on it. And here's the pants. So this is the 24 months. And he'll definitely be able to wear that this year. And then I also got him this one, which is a cute little weenie dog with the pants. 
and again some socks and it does say on there it's by the brand rabbit and bear it's organic um, but it does say like snug fit I think that's why I get him the 24 months or like the next size up because they do run kind of small but anyways guys that is everything thank you so much for spending your time with me I hope you guys all have an amazing day um and i will see you guys again in the next video and thank you all so very much hugs to every single one of you and i love you bye